Hi everybody, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Power School Assessment, specifically how to find a quarterly assessment, how to print out bubble sheets for your students, and once you scan those completed bubble sheets into a copy machine, how to find the test results. So step one, in Power School Assessment, once I'm logged in, I'm going to click on the Administer an Assessment tab one time. That's going to bring me to this screen, and you'll notice there's no information popping up yet. First thing I have to do is I'm going to come up here to where it says Howell Public School District, and I am going to go to this drop down menu here, drop down menu here, and now I'm going to click on this little arrow to the left to expand the choices, and I'm going to choose the building that I'm at. I'm going to use Hutchings for this example. Next, I'm going to go to subject. So I'm going to click here on subject. So once in the subject, you'll see that there is math, science, social studies, and ELA, and you'll notice that the standards are outdated. Um, the district is going to update these, so you'll have more topic choices, and you'll also have more standard choices. But for today's um, example, I'm going to show a fifth grade science test. So I click on the left arrow to science, and I'm going to get science fifth grade. Now still there's no exams popping up, so I have to come over here, to the exam menu, I'm going to drop down arrow, and one more time, now I have to go to post test because the quarterly assessment is a post test, and I'm going to click on this little drop down arrow over here to the left. So I drop down arrow to the left, here is the training only fifth grade earth science quarterly one assessment. Well, I'm going to open that up, and now on the left you'll notice that something happened, it's asking for which teacher am I, and I'm going to click on my name. And now I have a science assessment under here. So I'm going to open that assessment up. Selected our school, selected our subject, we selected post test and our ass assessment. And then we chose the teacher name on the left and clicked on the assessment. So now the next step, printing out the bubble sheets. I'm going to click new test session and it's automatically going to um, recommend a paper pencil bubble sheet exam that's what i want and i do want all students added to the test session in my class if this is unchecked i will have to add students one at a time now i'm going to leave this checked so all students in my class will be added and print out bubble sheets for everybody create test session so once the test session is created my screen now looks like this and i'm going to go to my menu button and this is where we can print all bubble sheets. So again, I go to Menu, and I'm going to Print All Bubble Sheets. I'm going to leave the test date as, as on October the 10th. It does say a test date is not required and will have no bearing on the test results of visibility or grading. So that's okay if the students take this test after this date. I'm going to Submit. This is where I'm going to type in my email address, and what's going to happen is when I scan them in to the copy machine, uh, PowerSchool is going to send me an email that tells me that I have scanned them in correctly, and it will also let me know if any of the students um, did not fill out their bubble sheets correctly, so I can rescan those. So I entered in my email address, I'll press continue, and as you can see down here, it's downloading in a PDF file my bubble sheets. Looks like it's done, so I will click on this up arrow, and I'm going to open that PDF. Here is the PowerSchool cover sheet, and after that are all the bubble sheets for all the students. So I'm going to hover over the print icon in the top right corner, one click, and I will print out these bubble sheets. And once they get printed out, I will just pass them out. Just like our previous data director, let the students fill them in. Once they're filled in, I'll take them to the copy machine, and I'm going to scan them to the powerscan at powerschool.com email, and it will be a favorite on your copy machines. Okay, so now let's jump ahead, and, and we'll say that we have scanned in our completed bubble sheets to the copy machine. How do we see the student results? So what I'm going to do is I am going to get back to the testing center. And at the top of your screen, 
you will see some tabs. So I'm going to go back to the Testing Center tab. And I'm going to go under Reporting to Assessment Results. Now you can also come back to uh, Power School Assessment. Click up here to get back to the home page. And you can view, recess, uh, view assessment results here. Or you can go to Reporting and view them here. It takes you to the same place. So here I am in my assessment results, and you can see it has the number of standards tested, the number of items tested, and here is an overall breakdown of my students this way. And I have scanned them incorrectly, so I have all of my data. So it's that easy using PowerSchool Assessment. The easiest part and the best part is perhaps scanning in your answers on the copy machines. No more do we have to deal with those buggy scanners from Data Director. Thanks, everybody.